Hello everyone, Vector on this side. I was testing Hurricane 3 Neo with 41 degrees sponge of hardness. This rubber has a blue sponge and I can confirm that it's hard, too hard. Before to glue Hurricane 3 to my Stiga Cybershape, I made the process to boost it with 3 layers. I waited 48 hours between each layer of booster. I used the glue Falco Optimum. 2 layers to the rubber and a thick one to the blade. During this video I will show you part of my training and matches using Hurricane 3 so you can have an idea of how it performs. This rubber is tacky and it can hold a ball easily. My second paddle has a Stiga DNA Dragon Grip, another grippy rubber but not even close to the Hurricane 3 talking about the tackiness of the top chip. Hurricane 3 is a king in control and spin. With a proper technique and acceleration, you can make outstanding shots. I like the way this rubber responds to the inputs. This means that you can keep the ball really short on the table with a little power, and then if you put great power, the rubber becomes a deadly weapon. On the other side, I noticed that after 3 hours of intense training, I was running out of energy. I know that part is personal, but it's widely known that this type of rubber demands a lot of physical condition. During training, I learned how short I can keep the ball and about the control using my forehand. A great rubber for skilled players looking around for a sticky rubber with consistency in the short game. I made another video talking about Stiga DNA Dragon Grip versus Dignix C from Butterfly. DNA Dragon Grip is in between C and Hurricane 3 because it doesn't bounce like C and it doesn't demand too much physical condition like Hurricane. After testing these three rubbers, Dragon Grip fits my game. Did you enjoy this video? I hope so. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions. Have a nice week ahead. See you in the next one. God bless you.